Hi, I'm Jennifer from J Stern Designs, and today I'm going to talk about top stitching. Usually when you think of top stitching, you probably think of um, your jeans and denim, very popular for top stitching. So you can see here I've taken jeans apart to make a skirt, and I've left some of the top stitching from the original jeans. And then as you go towards the hem, you can see I've embellished using a simple straight stitch and top stitching thread. Um, over here on these shorts, I've top stitched and stopped in the fabric again, and I embellished the pocket facing and some of the seams. On the back, I made this fun little um, detail on the back pocket using just a simple straight stitch. And then also another fun technique is to make these little whiskers um, on the side seam. The cool thing is as you wash and wear, which you can see I've washed and wear these quite a bit, it starts to get that distress in those mini pleats. So let's go to the sewing machine and I'm going to give you some tips on how to make this at home. All right, so to set up your machine, you need to have a top stitch needle. Um, I like to use either a 14 or a size 16 and top stitching thread. There are feet that you can use to help keep you honest. So we're gonna start by top stitching on the edge, which is a traditional thing that you normally think of. I have a front pocket here and I'm gonna show you that, but I just wanna show you one more thing. One of the things is the top stitching thread is a little bit heavier than your all-purpose thread. So sometimes the tension might not be exactly perfect. So you wanna try it on a sample. And I have two samples here. This sample, it shows here that the stitch is actually, the thread is laying on top of the fabric and I can see the bobbin thread. That means the bobbin tension is too loose. And if I turn it to the other side, um, you can see here it's loose. So you would tighten your bobbin case um, or in your bobbin area. This is not a common problem. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So if you have a thread that's just laying there and not forming a stitch, it's the bottom tension that's causing the problem. Something that's more common is if you have the top stitch, stop, top stitch thread showing on the underside, that means your needle tension is not tight enough. And this is a lot more common, so depending on your machine, you may need to play with this. But the cool thing is it's really easy to fix. All you do is tighten the needle tension a little bit and try it again. So I had it at the standard four, and I just went up to six, and now it's perfect. You can't see the the um, top stitch thread. So that's the cons that's the thing you need to check before you start. You also want to lengthen your stitch. I'm going to be working with a 4.0 stitch length. And what we'll do is we'll just start stitching on this front pocket. I'm using just the regular blind hem foot because it has a guide there. And I move my needle over a little. Then look how easy it is to stay right on the edge. You can see, even with the curve, I'm just following along with the guide in the front of the foot right here. I'm just gonna finish that up. Okay, let's look at that. Look how nice that is. So you could do a traditional twin row of stitching if you'd like, or you can get a little creative and go off the edge. This is my favorite thing to do. Um, I'm gonna just free ball it here. I'm gonna start I'm gonna start down here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just sort of make a meandering stitch. It's going to sort of go along with the front pocket opening, but it's not going to be right on the edge and it's gonna add some fun interest. So let's see what I come up with. I'm gonna come in towards the foot. Maybe we'll join it for a minute. And then as we get over here, I'm gonna veer back off again. Let's see how that looks. So see, I've sort of made a fun um, off the edge design. And you know, you can play with this, you can, you can add more rows, lots of fun for front pockets. Okay, so now what I wanna show you is how to make those little mini pleats. Those are really fun. You need to do that before you um, attach the, your pocket facing and bag to the front edge. And all you're gonna do is make a fold in your fabric. And I'm just gonna fold it like this. And I'm gonna put it 
into the machine. And the goal here is you wanna stitch really close. So I'm actually gonna snug my needle up a little bit closer to that folded edge. And I am going to start stitching. I'm just gonna stitch as long as I want that um, little whisker to be. When I get to where I think I wanna stop, I am gonna shorten my stitch length. And that will sort of secure the top stitching. I'm just gonna do a few stitches. And I'm not gonna use the scissors because what I wanna do is pull it to the back and tie it. But so you can see it looks like that. I can just cut that. All right, so see what that looks like is? You have that little whisker. And you could make more radiating from here. Like, let's just do one more. So I'll, I'll start out, but now when I fold it, you can see I'm folding it closer and then farther away from my original one. So, so it's gonna angle a little bit away. You know, and if you're not as daring as this, you can use chalk and you can mark your whiskers. Okay, I'm, I'm just being daring. All right, so let's just do the second one. Oh, you have to remember to put your stitch length back up when you do your second one. We'll make this a nice long one. All right, and then I'm gonna shorten that up and finish it off. All right, now, you can go crazy with this. I'm just gonna do these two, but you get the idea. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to pull those threads in a minute, because I wanna treat the hem to something fun now. So, here's another, these are like little shorts I have cut out. I'm gonna show you how to um, top stitch and finish in the fabric and end it nicely. I'm not a fan of back tacking, because it leaves that bulk. So what I like to do is, I'm just gonna put my needle in the middle. Um, I changed to an all-purpose foot because I don't need that guide anymore because now I'm really in the middle of my fabric and I'm just gonna use a simple straight stitch to embellish this hem. So I'm gonna start stitching. Oops, I lost my thread. Let me just quickly put that back. Okay. One of the benefits of a top stitch needle is it has a huge eye. So if you lose your thread, it goes back in very easily. All right, so I'm just gonna start stitching. As I tuck that back there. Okay, so we're gonna stitch. And then as I get to, as I get to where I wanna stop, I'm gonna shorten my stitch length. And I'm just gonna stitch for a second and then I'm gonna pull it out. Okay. And I'm gonna cut. I'm just gonna do two so you get the idea. I'm gonna vary the length of these. So now let's do a really short one. I'm gonna lengthen my stitch back up. I'll just make this really short. So I'm just gonna vary short and long to get that neat detail. All right. So now, to finish this off, what you're going to do is you go to the back and if you give the bobbin thread a yank, it pulls the top thread, the top stitching thread through to the back and you just give this a nice little, a nice knot and it's all secure and clip your thread. So that's how you embellish that. Now I wanna show you a cool back pocket. I have some samples here and I've used the top stitching thread to embellish the pocket and traditionally sew on the edge like I showed on the front pocket. Um, also, you can use your top stitching thread to make cool designs. I even used it to sign my name over here with free motion, which was kind of fun. So I have a pocket all ready to go. It's already folded. I've um, interfaced the top edge so it doesn't stretch when you top stitch along the edge. So let me show you how to do that. It's important to top stitch the edge of your pocket before you um, sew it to your, your jeans. Otherwise, it will be sewn to the, um, the jeans. So you need to top stitch the edge first so you don't sew it closed. And I'm just gonna move my needle over and I'm just gonna use this foot. So my top stitching will be um, about a quarter inch-ish away from the edge. Okay, you can back tack, I haven't been back tacking, but you can back tack a little bit to secure those edges. And let me show you how that looks. All right, so see how lovely? So then what you would do is you would just pin this in place 
And to pin, I don't pin along the edges, I pin inside the pocket so I don't ever have to move them. That way, when you get the perfect position, they don't shift as you're taking pins. And basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start on one end and go around. I'm gonna back tack to secure that. When I get to the corner, I am just going to put the needle down, pivot. And I'm gonna pivot at the center. And pivot up the other side. All right, so these are my tips for top stitching on and off the edge using a top stitch needle and top stitching thread.